utility maximization subject to the budget constraint under the chapter of consumer behavior utility maximization is required when we have to optimize the consumption of a consumer and this can be possible that the consumer is going to maximize the utility without consideration of the budget or with consideration of the budget as we know the consumer has various preferences available to him and at the same time consumer has a very long list of the wishes to attain various commodities and as per the law of the monotonicity we can say the consumer is always willing to have more and more and more then what is the end either it is possible that the consumer is going to attain more and more without any cut in the real life we know that this is not possible because if consumer is have many and many wishes then there are the limited resources so these are the limited resources that provide the limit to these utility preferences or the wishes so now we want to assess that from the available bundles which bundle is going to provide the maximum utility to the consumer with the available resources that he is having on his end so from the graph we can see that here we have plotted three indifference curves and these indifference curves they are in the order of preferring that this indifference curve is having this is if i will say this with the three that it is the highest level this indifference curve 2 is less than 3 but it is having more commodity or the more rank than the indifference curve 1 so these are the available indifference curve and consumer will be willing to have either this either this or either this but mostly he will prefer the more now the consumer has to decide so the bundle of the goods with the highest indifference curve that the consumer will prefer so in the diagram we can see that we have drawn this line that is the budget line and at this point we see that this point of equilibrium has been attained when the consumer is having the commodity x1 on the x axis and with this much amount of the x2 if we see the consumer if coming to the higher level of the indifference curve he may have this point or at the same time if we draw the lowest he may have these points so if i draw these points so point a point b and the c but out of these indifference curves the consumer is going to select the bundle b because this bundle b is not only available on his indifference curve but because it is also within the affordable range of the consumer so this affordability that is the constraint provided by the budget constraint so for utility maximization consumer will prefer that bundle that will give the maximum utility to him if it is available within his resources so for this we can say now that at this point this is the indifference curve and we can have what is its slope and this budget line it's also has its slope so when the slope of these two curves it will become tangent to each other so we can say the slope of indifference curve is equal to the slope of budget line this will give us the total point of tangency and this will provide the consumer with the maximum utility agar hum isko real life ke situations mein dekhein to consumer ke paas bahut si khwahishat hoti hain lekin usme se agar wo ye dekhe ki maine kaun si cheez ko 
खरीदना है तो वो हमेशा उसको असेस करेगा कि जो चीज या जो बंडल उसके प्राइस जो मार्केट की है उसको देखते हुए जो उसकी इनकम और उसके बजट की रेंज में आए तो जब उसकी मैक्सिमम यूटिलिटी फॉर दैट टाइम के लिए अगर हम असेस करेंगे तो हमें देखना होगा कि जो उसके बजट की अफोर्डेबिलिटी के अंदर मौजूद होगा वही वो यूटिलिटी उसकी उस टाइम के हवाले से उसकी मैक्सिमम यूटिलिटी कहलाए अब चूंकि हम इसको डील इस हवाले से कर रहे होते हैं तो हमें पहले इसमें जो कुछ पैरामीटर्स हैं अगर वो तय करें तो हमें ये होगा कि जो बंडल्स उसके पास अवेलेबल हैं हमें अपना फोकस फॉर द मेयरमेंट सिर्फ उनको करना होगा नंबर टू हमें यह देखना होगा कि उस वक्त की मार्केट प्राइसिस क्या है और सिर्फ उस टाइम की प्राइसिस को काउंट करते हुए उसकी बजट लाइन को ड्रा करना होगा एंड नंबर थ्री हमें इन दोनों चीजों के लिए उनकी स्लोप को देखते हुए उसको ड्रा करना होगा और जब हाईएस्ट लेवल का इनडिफरेंस कब हम अटेन कर लेते हैं उस हवाले से तो देन वी हैव टू स्टॉप फॉर द परचेज दैट नाउ द मैक्सिम लेवल हैज बीन अटेंड बट ओनली द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू हैव द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द वेरियस थिंग इन द इकोनॉमिक्स वी मे हैव नॉट ओनली द ग्राफिकल बट वी हैव टू ड्रा द यूटिलिटी मैक्सिम पॉइंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मैथमेटिकल डेरिवेशन एंड हेयर वी सी दैट देर इज अ वन बंडल एंड फॉर दिस वी कैन से दैट कमोडिटी एक्स वन एंड द कमोडिटी एक्स टू and our objective function is to maximize this utility and here the subject or the constraint that is having that is the two commodities pricing and with their available commodities quantities and it is the budget line provided by this so now there is the possibility that we can draw this by the two methods one by the substitution method and the other through the lagrange multiplier so when we utilize the constraint method from the budget constraint we can draw the value of x2 and from the same we can draw the value of the x1 by substituting the value of x1 and the x2 in our utility bundle we can find out the value that is going to provide the maximum utility to the consumer and according to this if we are going to utilize the lagrange method we can utilize again the method by this that it is our objective function and this is our subject of the budget but here we will not utilize the values of the x1 or the x2 for the substitution rather we will derive a lagrange and that lagrange we can say that by this method we are going to draw now that we have to maximize this lagrange l where this is our objective function and this is our subjective function with this lambda and for this we can now take the marginal utilities of the function mean marginal utility of the lagrange one with respect to the price of with respect to x1 and the second with respect to x2 and so we can assess by this method that what will be the level for this change in lagrange with respect to change in x1 change in lagrange with respect to x2 and then change in lagrange with respect to lambda so with respect to these three variables we will take the first derivative of our lagrange equation and after this now we can equate all these three equations in a way that we get the value of lambda on one side so when we will have the value of lambda then we can equate one equation with the another and here now we can get the ratio of these commodities with their prices so we say that price of 1 and price of 2 when multiply by their respective commodities it becomes the expenditure on that commodity so in this manner we can say that we will attain a point where the expenditure 
on the good one will be equal to the expenditure on the other commodity and here we see by this function that the expenditure on good two is the double than the commodity one it means that we are spending more on the commodity two by substituting the values in equation three now we get the amount of the x2 or we can say that this was our optimal level of the commodity x2 that we can have and from this equation again we can calculate the by substituting the amount of x1 so we can say by rearranging these equations through the lagrange we can assess that what was the amount of the income or what was the amount or the proportion of the budget that the consumer is going to spend on each commodity and this amount that we can have from one to the other we assess that how the marginal utility of the commodity vary with the change in the commodities consumption.